everyone, my name is Dhanashree and I'm one of the Q experts at Q Marketplace along with my colleagues Keegan and Fiona. If you haven't already checked out my video about payroll and in case you are looking for a payroll option, make sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. Here at Q, we offer an online marketplace for small business owners to basically discover, purchase and manage different software solutions in one place. We are building a dashboard exclusively for small business owners so that you can handle all your accounting to appointment to even website building task in the dashboard itself. Now as a small business owner or a blogger or even an e-commerce store owner, establishing an online presence with websites, social media, it's no longer an option, but it's more of a requirement. Today we are going to compare Duda and WordPress, which are two website building platforms for small businesses. I strongly believe which platform will be useful for you. It's an easy choice and we'll find out exactly how. Now in this review, we'll be comparing features such as usability, engagement, SEO, website builder, widgets, widget builder, plugins, and so much more. I'm going to try to keep the technicalities to a bare minimum and focus on the key features and unique features along with use of ease of use for each platform. Make sure to watch till the end of the video so that you can get access to Q exclusive offer that we are running right now. Let's get started. So let's get started with the core of the features, that's website building. Now with Duda, as you can see, they provide drag and drop interface, templates, HTML, CSS control, and you can also purchase unique domain directly from Duda. And we do offer Duda in combination of unique purchase domain name in Marketplace, in our Q Marketplace. Now with WordPress, they offer the same features. Now let's see what exactly are the differences are within these features. Now Duda provides templates right in the website builder. They have around 100 plus templates, which is a great quantity to start off with. Not only that, but they also look wonderful and they're organized into industry categories like restaurants, one pagers, portfolios, popular blogs and stores. Now you can grab onto these templates right from the beginning. After that, if you change your mind, you can always swap out your templates and not worry about losing any content like you would into WordPress. Along with that, Duda also provides smooth inline drag and drop editor, which means there is no need to waste time or resources messing around with the code. You can still get under the hood and dig into HTML and CSS in Duda's developer mode if you're entitled to do so. Now coming to WordPress, you have to go out and find templates that will fit your business needs. Then you actually might have to pay for them. That being said, but if you do a little bit of research, you can actually find anything that will fit your business needs. Now, whether you like it or not, WordPress does come with learning curve and it may take quite a bit longer to learn how to use it than you previously thought. Now, if you are already tech savvy and have a little bit of technical expertise, it should be a good sailing for you. If not, then be prepared for a steep learning curve. And I'm not just talking about how to create a page or a blog post, but the other things that go into it, like how to care and maintain a site that runs on WordPress, if and when to update plugins, themes, so that you don't break anything accidentally. Even learning and using features within a theme can be pretty taxing. Now with learning curve, the biggest issue that most people grip about is the WordPress is that the designing of the site is pretty tough. And while there are multiple page builders out there that makes it easier, if you're not a web designer, adding those tiny little touches that take the website to the next level, it's not going to be an easy task. If you go and decide to take the route of using a page builder, just know that these also come with a learning curve. So no matter what, you'll have to learn a lot before you design anything. Now let's talk about Widget Builder. Let's talk a little bit more about Widget Builder for Duda as well as WordPress. Now from click to call buttons to 
restaurant menus, pop-up messages, coupons, and business hours, the Duda widget is where it stands out because of their ease of use and quantity. Basically, it takes only a second to install one of these on the drag and drop interface. And it will definitely seem like the Duda creators thought long and hard about what businesses actually want. This feature can also be found in some of the WordPress builders or templates, but it's not as fluid or as common as you might think. These are pre-built section with no design requirements. So for example, you can easily insert a contact form or complete a footer with a map, social media buttons, and text but you'll have to design it yourself. Other common features between both Duda as well as WordPress include online scheduling, coupon generation, photo gallery, and social media integration. Next, we'll talk about engagement and how to build traffic using Duda or WordPress. So the next thing we're going to talk about is engagement and building traffic. Which platform between Duda and WordPress would help you get your SEO traffic to the maximized efficiency? It's a well-known fact that WordPress um, has a majority of websites all across the world, around 28%, whereas Duda has around 0.1% of all the market share of the websites. It's clear that WordPress is far more popular and there are more WordPress sites at the top of Google search engines. Now, with Duda, unlike other drag and drop editors, Duda is fully equipped to handle your SEO. It can handle your on-site SEO needs, including page descriptions, alt tags, h1 tags, and everything else you need or you could need. Now, if SEO is going to be part of your marketing plan, then Duda is there to help you achieve your goals. Now, as you can clearly see between Duda and WordPress, they both offer built-in SEO options. More specifically, they offer options such as in-page metadata editor, customizable page URLs, XMLs, sitemaps, image alt, and description tags also 301 redirects, and more. The only difference I would say between WordPress and Duda is WordPress allows you to download SEO plugins and cache plugins so that you get more site speed. Apart from that, as you can see, um, email marketing campaign integration is what Duda offers, whereas WordPress does not offer that. And both WordPress as well as Duda are e-commerce compatible. So the next feature we are going to talk about is usability. As you can clearly see with Duda on the left and WordPress on the right, they both offer equal features, such as mobile responsiveness, third-party integration marketplace, custom contact forms, reliable and free site hosting, APIs, site permission roles, security, and payment providers. Now with mobile responsiveness, did you know that two out of three minutes that is spent online is done using a mobile device? So now it is basically a requirement for all the websites to be mobile friendly. It also needs to look amazing on tablet and all the other screen sizes. Now Duda does an exceptional job in this because it is not only design responsive, but it also lets you customize your website per device. Now, if you've got a cool design feature on desktop, but that doesn't look that great on mobile, you can just hide it from mobile view. If you want to add extra buttons on mobile, but not on other devices, you can actually do that too. There is absolutely no coding required with that. With WordPress, you can do all of the same things, but on some level, you need technical expertise. Now with payment, for Duda, you can either use First Data, PayPal, or Stripe as payment processing options. Whereas with WordPress, you there are a number of options that are available out there, such as Authorize.net, Braintree, PayPal, Stripe, are some of the processing options that are available. Platforms. Now both Duda on the left and WordPress on the right, they get equal points from platforms perspective. You can tackle either WordPress or Duda both 
on Mac or PC and access your account anywhere since your website is online and your, all your data and designs are stored on the cloud. As well as Duda and WordPress, both are available on Android and iOS with limited features. So there's nothing unique about both the features. They offer both on Mac or PC or any other device that is available out there to make sure that you can edit and design your website from anywhere. Support. So everyone once in a while, support is required. So to get started with Duda, on the left, as you can see, all of the features that you see are listed from Q since we offer Duda on our marketplace. With Duda from Q platform, we offer live chat, phone, email, knowledge base, and demos. In addition to that, Duda also offers troubleshooting help and informational guides on their responsive website builder, mobile website builder, product training, widget builder, and more. Now coming to WordPress. Now since it's tech related, WordPress is going to have its own glitches. Something as simple as updating WordPress or themes and plugins can wipe an entire site or end in what we in the WordPress community called as the white screen of depth. But since WordPress is free, you won't find much support for fixing these issues, except via the online forum maybe. For real help, you will need to pay really good hosting support or go and search for someone who can fix the issues for you. And these people are even harder to find if you don't know where to look. It can be frustrating and it has left many people with no choice but to start from scratch. However, if you are on a paid plan, then you will get live chat, email, knowledge base, community forum, a 24 seven of all these features from WordPress. How, and since WordPress is a, the largest platform in the world, there are more YouTube videos, forums, blogs, tutorials, and guides to help you out as well. Let's talk about pricing. So to get started with Duda, since it's offered from Q Marketplace, we offer a free trial, a 30 day free trial, as well as multiple pricing plans with options ranging from $19.99 to $44.99 monthly. Whereas in WordPress, since you can clearly see it's the easily the cheapest option since it has a free plan, all you have to worry as a business owner is hosting your website. It also offers multiple price plans. Now, as we had discussed earlier in the support section, if you have a paid price plan, then sure, you will get a better support. As well as there are so many different WordPress hosting services that can host your business on WordPress. So if you are technically sound and have no uh, issues designing your own website, then WordPress should be a good choice for you. So the last piece I would like to touch on is the Q score that we have given both Duda as well as WordPress. So with Duda, we have scored them at 3.7 stars out of five. With this Q score, it has been broken down into three parts. The first is reputation, features, and support. Now with reputation, since WordPress is more uh, popular than Duda, that's where it misses a couple points on that, as well as support, since it's not 24 seven compared to WordPress. With WordPress, it has ranked at 4.2 stars out of five, based on reputation at around 4.5 stars, features 3.75 and support at 4.17. Again, support is very conditional. If you have a paid plan, great, you'll get amazing support as well as great informational videos on YouTube and blogs. But if you have just a paid, uh, I'm sorry, the free plan, then I think support is where WordPress would lose points. Final verdict. We saw both Duda and WordPress and compared a lot of features. Now, as a small business owner, you don't just blog, but you want to have like a fully functional business-centric website that will drive leads and traffic. 
Now, WordPress does offer tons of options that will allow you to extend beyond its original capacity and create what you actually need. WordPress does offer more than it's needed and requires more work to produce something really simple. Other times, WordPress is too restrictive and then requires more time to get the job done. The point is, if you are technically sound and you are a technical expert or you have IT help, then WordPress might be the right choice for you. But if you're a really small business owner who has to tackle multiple things and having technical expertise would be a difficult option, then WordPress might not be the right tool for the job. Now for small business sites, it's usually the wrong one. By switching small businesses with fewer needs to a website builder like Duda, not only can you save time and take a bigger profit, but hey, you can proudly say that you have developed and designed your own website with no coding required. Now it's up to you and your own due diligence in figuring out whether you want to hop off Duda wagon or not. Either way, you know your business goals the best, so whatever your choice you make, you can rest easy with. Don't forget that we do offer Duda free trial of 30 days on Q Marketplace. If you have any questions about Duda as an alternative to WordPress, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.